Hey, what's up guys? It's Cecily and it's This Week in Rideshare News. I'm going to jump right into it. A lot of these stories you've probably already heard this week, but we've got a little different take on it. Just a slight slant. City officials working with Mobile Workers Alliance voted $30 per hour. Sounds generous, but they did this to a lot for $15 to go towards car, maintenance, gas, that sort of thing, and $15 take home pay. So that's not really a lot when you think of it like that, but that's probably what's needed, right? What's needed to actually make money this way. And for many of us who started this a long time ago, these were easy values to make. You didn't even have to think about it. So kudos to El Monte. How about, I didn't even know that a city could do this. I know you learn something new every day, Cecily. I didn't even know that a city could do something like this. So I'm like, um, what's up, Los Angeles? Like, just to put my business out there, I just rented an apartment in my old neighborhood that I moved out two years ago. I am paying $1,000 more for rent than I did two years ago. Okay, guys, like the housing market is so crazy here in Los Angeles. And at the same time, the wages are not increasing. Like I'm having headhunters contact me and they're offering the same salary and wages that they did at least 10 years ago. Like it makes no sense how people are expected to spend over a thousand or more dollars to live in this city, but we're not getting paid more. So uh, El Monte wants to address the fact the homelessness situation housing here in southern california and other parts of the country i'm sure is very very expensive and they're like you know what not on our watch we're going to make sure that those who are helping our city with doing ride share are going to be uh, paid for it and for those of you who enjoy this work you know for those of you who like doing this and nothing wrong with that i feel like you know what damn it you should be paid more for it love it el monte you guys are the ish by now you've probably heard this story on how uh, Uber is trying to save money and for their Uberversaries, which is like the years with the company, that they have opted to not pay for helium balloons to gift the employees with stickers. Um, yeah, so I know you guys have heard this story, at least if you guys watch YouTube content, uh, at this point, but I wanted to find some footage of this and I kind of did and I kind of didn't. So here are some employees in Vietnam, AKA Saigon, Ho Chi Minh, and they are having a good time and there are definitely some helium balloons here, guys. I, I don't think there's 200,000 of them, um, but there's a production going on and it's things like this I think Uber is gonna tighten up on. So uh, <laughs> I thought that was cute. I don't, just keep watching the video. There's more to come, more to come. An Uber driver is fired for carrying a firearm and he says that the rules need to change. Mark DeAndre drives in uh, Detroit and he says that a passenger reported that he was carrying a firearm and he lost his job. He's actually used the gun in situations to thwart uh, carjackings and other like potentially harmful activity. He said it's something that, can, that allows him to feel safe and that in certain parts of the country is definitely needed. Uh, with the amount of things that have happened to drivers, we know that some riders bring weapons, yeah. Passengers have attacked drivers, they carry weapons. DeAndre said that he was able to hold on to his car and keep from having his car stolen with these, you know, with having a gun in his car. We know that this work, it can be dangerous. We know that if you don't protect yourself, that you could potentially be harmed or have your property stolen. My question to you, do you think that Uber and Lyft should change their firearms policy? Let me know in your comments. And in my last story, this has happened to me so many times. These two girls are creating a video where they're rapping, you know, they're doing their thing probably for the gram, okay? And this woman gets in the back seat of their car. They both see her and they scream. You gotta watch it.
Take a little sip, brother. Oh, I thought y'all were just. I'm sorry. Look at you. I'm sorry. Y'all were just like. Look at you. This has happened to me so many times. I mean, like where people will get in the car. And I've screamed, I've turned around, said, get out. And then they try to fight with you and say, oh, you know, I thought you were my Uber. Get out of my car. Obviously, I am not your Uber. That was crazy, right? Anyway, that is it for me this week. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe right now. The Right Share Guy channel has a lot of information, resources, and tips, things you could use if you do this kind of work. If you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily. I have a channel called Drive Go Drive where I talk about ride share and entrepreneurship that sort of thing and you can find me on youtube or facebook that's what's up have a great weekend talk to you soon guys bye